Hello, have a great day to you everyone. I'm Oira Teresa and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So yes, for today's video, since someone requests me for a make reaction video on the final four head-to-head -head challenge Miss Road 2021. So yes, as you can see, um, Philippines and Nepal is really in the top four i mean final four so yes i'm really excited to watch this like one of the final four is also include my country and also from nepal so yes i'm really excited to watch this so yes and congratulations for the new miss universe so it was um crowned on last time and congratulations miss india for winning this universe 2021 so yes congratulations so yeah guys i'm really excited to watch this and i hope you all enjoy this video for today without any doubts let's start watching <laughs> puerto rico head to head challenge Finally, Cameroon. What is the most important thing parents should tell their children? Thank you for the question, Stephanie. I think that children play a vital role for the future. You know, there's a common saying, we are the leaders of tomorrow. But the way we get to place in the future is decided by how we were brought up, our background. And if a parent should have to bring his or her child up, then you should tell them, just be you. You are perfect just the way you are because I do believe with the recent times there has been an involvement where there are norms in the societies and people want to fit into it, maybe the female or the male. But if you have this great background from this, our loving parents and they tell you that you are perfect just the way you are, you do not need to change for anyone. You yeah, can be absolutely. You wherever you want and whatever time you want. And I do believe that our parents have been playing a vital role by helping us through our journeys and get helping us. What a lovely answer. Wow. She looked great. Philippines. <laughs> yes. Oh, Philippines, your story is so amazing. I know you said that you're a miracle baby. I was wondering if you could talk to us more about that. Thank you, Tony. Thank you, Stephanie, and to the best world for this opportunity to talk about ourselves and about who we are. And most of my friends know that I consider myself as a miracle baby. And it all started with my mom. When she was about 18 years old, she got into this horrible accident and she was in a cab where it was crushed by a bus back in my country and she was in the operating table for the longest time and she even died for a few minutes and back then the hospital care was not so good but luckily she was able to survive she was revived and the catch was she was told that she would only live up until 30 years old and that it would be impossible for her to get pregnant and to bear a child. But with God's grace, my mom got pregnant at 33 years old, three years after her supposed life expectancy. And I was also a premature baby. It makes me go bomb for her, sorry. And luckily, my lungs were already fully developed. And that is how I was able to survive. So basically, my life is just a living proof that miracles mm -hmm. do happen. And I am here to commit myself to help people see the little miracles in their lives too. Because if we learn to look closely, we would understand that life is beautiful despite all the challenges. Life is beautiful. We can have a bright tomorrow. Well, we're wow. so blessed that purpose is a real and very tangible thing. Because if your mother hadn't continued to persevere, we wouldn't have you with us today. So thank you for that story, Philippine. And I just hope that that speaks to the rest of the world about the fact that, you know, Nothing, nothing can stand in the way of purpose. Thank 
Yeah. Well, we've met. Wow. Wow, I love the dress. I mean, the cowl. Her makeup, the dress, wow, it's really perfect. In the Philippines, we called it Filipiniana, a new version. A new version. Proud to be Philippine, Filipino. <laughs> I'm rather stressed out from Nepal. This was your dream for over two years. What do you want to do with your title? I always had this uh, motto in my life that I want to touch lives. I want to leave an impact on people wherever I go, whoever I meet, and with the work I do. And I feel extremely blessed to have been taken part in this world because now I have a larger audience to cater to. I have a larger audience to touch leave an impact so I'm just going to do the same that I have been doing touching lives touching hearts and leaving positive impacts wow she's so stunning in that dress And it is such an honor for me to represent the blessed land of the Guaranis, Paraguay. Yeah. Paraguay. Oh, Paraguay. I never hear of that before. Brave people of rich nature and a pro history, culture, and tradition. Located in the heart wow. of South America, Paraguay is the only country in the world with two different badges on its flag, as well as two official languages, Spanish and Guarani, a place I'm very proud to call home. I had a wonderful childhood. As a very outdoor year, I enjoyed participating in activities such as wow. dancing, acting, TV shows, and singing Paraguayan polka with my family. My brothers taught me how to climb trees and swing, and my passion for nature and extreme sports. Oh. I have wonderful parents who taught me to love God, my country, and my family with five brothers. Five Obeys brothers? And unity. My mother is a very prominent woman in my life. I consider myself a firm and determined woman. I am currently studying marketing and advertising and work as an advertising model and a digital influencer. Wow. In hopes of becoming a better person, I discovered important talent and qualities that help me reach my maximum potential. Wow, I like that one, like having battle dancing, because it's so hard, because you need to balance it. 
Why Nepal and Philippines don't have that one? Like your introduction. Wow. She's so pretty too. Miss Bird San Juan, Puerto Rico. Best of luck, Miss World 2021. Most especially to our um, represented of Philippines, Miss Tracy Laban. So, mabuhay, Philippines. So, also from Nepal, good luck and best of luck, every one of you. Like, the final top four. So, yes, I'm really glad to see this. And I really like that um they speak like they're intelligent and their heart so i can really feel that and also i'm relation to miss namrata shrestha for um your project that you've done already so i'm also glad i'm so happy to hear that also and from the philippines i'm really inspired with your story and it's really touched my heart and it's really literally gave me ghost bump when i hear your story it was really it's really an inspirational message so yes guys so good luck and uh, uh, i'm really looking forward for the competition for the Miss World and yes, Laban lang, Philippines, <laughs> Laban. So yeah, guys, thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed this video for today. So once again, I'm Maya Teresa. May God bless you and have a nice day.